Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Green. And today we have a look around this 30 kilowatt Nissan Leaf Ascenta. It's a late 2016 plate. It's only done 27,821 miles on the clock. It's still showing at the time of videoing 12 bars of battery health. And the next MOT and service date is in July 2023. It's nothing to worry about for quite a little while. It's in this beautiful colour of blue. Let's dive straight on in so there's anything noteworthy to mention on the vehicle. Please do feel free to pause the video at any stage if you feel like we're going a little bit too quick for you. Driver side front alloy. Just the tiniest little bit of curbing just around. Unfortunately, on that one. Other very, very minimal. Now, 30 kilowatt Nissan Leaf will give you a reward range of roughly 105 miles to play with. So, a nice mid range EV up for grabs. We don't often get this beautiful kind of duck egg blue for the Nissan Leaf on our full port. So, it's a nice little spot of colour. Offering a little bit of something a little bit different for one of the most popular EVs that we do sell. You have your Type 1 as well as your Shadow Mode for your fast home and your rapid charging. Another little bit of unfortunate curving just through there. Again, as you pull away, very noticeable. So, yeah, as I was saying, Type 1, that's for your home as well as your fast charging. So, we'll provide with the vehicle your 13 amp 3 pin home charging lead. You're about 4 or 5 meters long, plug straight into your EV and straight into a 13 amp 3 pin socket. So, that'll be your home trickle charging. You also are able to have your fast charging, so straight into an installation box. At all point, you'll need a Type 2 Type 2, also known as a public charging lead. That optional extra cable we only chuck in for £100 at the point of purchase. They usually rate at about £180, £190. So, as the name suggests, you can use them when you're out and about to get some free charge, maybe at a local supermarket or a place of work. But you'll need to provide that cable to take full advantage of that. Once again, as you guessed it, a tiny little bit of curving just around. On the whole, though, the bodywork of this vehicle is looking in remarkably good condition, apart from a few little scuffs as you've seen so far on the alloys. Considering the age of the vehicle, it's expecting to see a little bit more damage, or rather, signs of life. So the Ascenta model is a lower of the spec, but you still have a few nice bits and bobs. You have your reversing camera, as she's noteworthy to mention. That for any Nissan Leaf, which is 24 as well as 30 kilowatt model, you will not have your reversing sensors or any parking sensors whatsoever. It's just the cameras. All right? So you still get a reversing camera for the Ascenta model. Nice cloth interior seats as well. Really nice and comfortable. You also have your comfort access button. So as long as you've got your keys on your person, you'll be able to lock and unlock the vehicle. So no more hunting around for any pesky keys whatsoever. Let's come around to the last few little bends of this particular model just behind there you'll have your charging ports just at the front of the vehicle and also your shadow mode as well that's your rapid charge quick juice up on the motorway and shoot off again and you won't need to provide that cable that's actually physically tethered to the unit itself awesome there you have it so far so good looking in fantastic condition let's have a look on the inside she's all switched on at the moment beautiful nice spacious cabin area as I said, nice, comfortable cloth interior seats. Very, very minimal signs of wear on them. That's to be expected with any vehicle of this age. A storage area underneath the armrest. Drive neutral reverse and park stick function in there as well as your regen braking. Couple of cup holders, maybe a place to put your phone and your keys. Climate control system and your touchscreen DAB radio with your sat nav all in through there. Nice kind of firm, smooth, solid driving position that you have in the Nissan Leaf. You also have this little eco button on the steering wheel to try and force you to drive economically and preserve out some of that range even further. Going on to the back seats, one of the biggest selling points for the Nissan Leaf is the practicality that you gain from the vehicle. It's a nice kind of first entry EV. Lots of space in the back seats as well as the boot, making it a perfectly practical first time EV. More than capable of doing those Pops to and from around your local area. Going on a bike in the back as well as shooting off on any longer distance trips with a bit of prior planning in the morning. So just get that out of the way and you get a real good sense of the space that you have in the boot space. Really nice big deep boot style. Actually due to the fact that it's in the centre you have a little bit more space to play with because of that, the lack of that uh, subwoofer that you have in the back. Once again very minimal signs of getting luggage in or out, all looking in fantastic state as well. 
And there you have it, 30 kilowatts Nissan Leaf Ascenta. Please do feel free to get in touch. Our number 01761 233 More than happy to answer any and all of your questions. And hopefully get you booked in for a nice little test drive out on the Somerset levels. Uh, if you'd like to find a bit more information, please do head over to our YouTube page. It'll be a nice, lovely, detailed review, kind of like a Top Gear kind of style review of the Nissan Leaf in general. We'll be able to find out a bit more information to see if this might be the right vehicle for you. My name's been Danny. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to hearing from you all very, very soon. I look forward to having you here on Drive Green 4 Thank you very much, and goodbye.